You ever get the feeling you've been asleep for such a long time, pagising mo ang dami ng bago? If you used to build computers before, pero mga limang taon na since your last build, hindi ka na rin sumusunod sa developments in the industry, a lot has changed. But you're awake now and you want to get back to building computers. Para sa'yo tong video na to. Here are the top 3 trends in modern PC building. Kung kakagising mo lang from a very long sleep, you might want to go back to school to learn all of the new things that happened nung tulog ka. Tamang-tama, yung sponsor natin may back to school promo. And yes, they're our sponsor, pero we've bought more than 100 keys from them, so talagang trusted namin sila. They're very reliable when it comes to their keys. So, yung usual setup process lang, you just need to sign up. And you put in your usual things like the address, password, etc. Although, syempre may account na kami, so ito na yung nakalogin na ako. Yung links to the usual software like Windows 10 activation, Windows 11 activation, Microsoft Office, nandun sa video description. Pero let's say, yun nga, Win 10 Pro kailangan mo, you need to activate Windows. Everyone needs to activate Windows now. Yun, add to cart. So, yung usual lang, go to the shopping cart, keep on shopping. Let's say, okay na tayo dun, go to the shopping cart. Yung pinakamahalaga, yung code natin, may 25% discount code tayo, and that's HS20, HS20. So, pansinin mo, $22 yung initial price. Pag-apply mo nung discount code, magiging $16 na lang siya. So, nabawasan nung $5.55. And you submit order. Madami silang payment options. Mega link. PayPal, PayPal, Alipay. Uh, yung usual namin, PayPal. And then you click pay now. And then tuloy-tuloy na siya. May legit working CD key ka na sa software na pinili mo. Copy the code, paste it into Windows Activator, and you're good to go. Hindi lang software si CD Key, meron din silang hardware products. Nag-team up sila with various brands for a back-to-school promo. Yung ibang brands, aminin ko, di ganun kasikat. Dare You, Autoful, Mouse Speed, Motor Speed, Life Smart. Although may isang brand dito na sikat sa atin, yung Edifier. A lot of people have requested that over the years. So at least isa dito, medyo sikat na brand sa atin. Although personally, nagamit ko na rin tong Dare You Mouse and so far so good quality naman siya. And at least useful yung promo kasi yung mga items, yung mga pangkaraniwan, yung kailangan mo talaga. You have mice, you have chairs, you have headsets, you have keyboards, may earphones. So parang yung software codes din nila, yung basic na kailangan mo to get started for work or for school. You'll need activated windows and you'll need basic peripherals. And of course, may discount code rin tayo para dito. Use discount code FER for a 15% discount. R G B so over the last five years or so, RGB has become super popular. Before, it was very difficult to get any kind of lighting inside your computer, and it was static lighting at that. Puro red, puro green, puro blue. But now with RGB, you can have any color combination you want, and they're on every component. Usually case fans, usually coolers, pero kahit mga GPU ngayon, meron na. Yung mga PSU, meron na din. Motherboard, meron na din. It's quite hard to think of any component na hindi pa na RGB fi. Kahit yung mismong cables connecting the different components, may RGB na rin yun. GPU support brackets, may RGB, everything has RGB now. There are two kinds of RGB. That's the 12 volt 4 pin na RGB and the 5 volt 3 pin na ARGB. Mas luma yung RGB, mas maganda yung control ng ARGB you're able to control each individual LED at the same time dun sa ARGB or DRGB, digital RGB, pareho lang yun. So RGB, you can change the lights, but you can only change the lights all together in one go. So kung lahat red, lahat blue, or any combination. But sa ARGB, you get finer color control because each individual LED in the component can be controlled at the same time. Yes, RGB is for aesthetics, but it can also be functional. 
pwede mo i-set up sa software control na pag uminit yung computer mo, magbabago yung ilaw ng RGB. At least most RGB. So you can program your CPU cooler to display blue with temperatures below 60 degrees and then different shades of red, different shades of whatever color you want. So hindi lang aesthetic yung RGB, functional din siya. It can display information. You even have some setups na nakatay in in game. So let's say na sa Counter Strike ka, biglang nag the bomb has been planted, magka-flash yung red yung RGB ng system mo. It's possible to do things like that depending on the software that you use and kung may software integration with that particular game. But the question is, should you RGB? Especially kung old school builder ka and you're not used to all of these colors, all of these lights, all of these different things. Admittedly, as an old school builder, parang medyo suspicious thing yung RGB. It can add a lot of cost to your build. The added benefit, functional benefit is marginal. Although, a lot of people really do like the aesthetic and you can have tasteful RGB. Hindi naman ibig sabihin na RGB kailangan talaga bling-bling lahat. You can have tasteful RGB just on the RAM, just on certain case fans. You can also set it back to the traditional static color. Kung gusto mo white and blue lang, or kung gusto mo all red lang, you can do that easily as well since fully customizable naman yung RGB. So if you haven't built in a while and you're coming back to the PC building hobby, it is a little tempting to try out RGB, and why not? Wag ka matakot dun sa mga detractors na, oh, RGB, ano lang yan, pang dagdag lang yan ng gastos, and things like that. Kasi medyo nakaka backlash na sa RGB. Since so many people have it, since so many components integrate it, syempre, yung mga PC snobs ngayon, uh, bumabaliktad na, gusto nila na stealth build, or walang RGB na build. Yung position namin sa Hardware Sugar, do what you want. Do what you think looks good for your computer. Kasi personal computer mo yun. It's personal to you and your taste. If you want a stealth build, go old school. You can do stealth build. Personally, for me, old school builder. But I did put in a mix of RGB in my latest build. Kasi to be fair, maganda rin naman tingnan if you do it right. And if you do it to your tastes. And once you do go down that rabbit hole, there are so many options available. Nagdagdagdag rin siya ng complexity to the build. Kasi to be honest, it's a real pain in the ass trying to determine what brand of components should you get, what software supports that brand, and things like that. So if you do decide to put RGB in your build, you will need to plan a bit more in advance para hindi mahassle yung user experience mo later on. A I O so old school building, when you say water cooling, automatically custom liquid water cooling yun. And that means having to measure all of the pipes yourself, having to make sure your fittings and your joints uh, do not leak. Talagang custom siya. Whatever your case is, you need to come up with the sizes and the specs needed for that particular case. So yung CPU block, yung fittings, yung radiator tank, lahat yun custom specs and size. Kaya nakakatakot mag water cooling dati kasi kung hindi ka marunong or kung nagsisimula ka pa lang, tubig yun inside your case with your expensive computer stuff. Kung magkamali ka, yari computer mo. And to be honest, I've never custom water cooled my own computer. It always looks cool pero it's a lot of time and effort. Plus takot nga ako na masira yung computer ko. One leak is all it takes, so the risks for doing custom liquid water cooling are quite high. Pero ngayon, nagka-innovation na. It's very easy to do water cooling with AIOs or all-in-one water coolers. Yung AIO is basically a pre-packaged radiator and CPU block. Para na siyang air cooler na sinasalpak mo lang yung block onto the CPU. You install the radiator in predetermined portions of the case, slap on the fans onto the radiator, and you're good to go. Di na siya custom. Kumbaga, the AIO that you select is very compatible with a wide range of cases and CPUs. So, wala na yung mga custom lengths, wala na yung custom reservoir. Lahat yun, naka-integrate na into this AIO. Talagang swak yung pangalan, all-in-one. Yung advantages ng AIO over traditional air cooling is that mas maganda talaga yung aesthetic niya. Mas sleek yung design kasi yung CPU block niya, is a lot shorter compared to the large towers na karaniwan sa mga air cooling. So you do get a very nice aesthetic with an AIO. And naging uso na rin ngayon na may LCD display yung CPU block. So that's added aesthetics and added functionality. You can also have the LCD display show temperatures, graphics. Basically, 
very clear na yung mga LCD displays na yun. So they're both functional and fun. Plus, reliable yung mga AIOs. We've sold a lot of them in the shop. Very few actually really come back with any problems. Yung takot ko sa traditional water cooling is that may leak. And yun din yung takot ko initially sa mga AIO. But we've actually never had any AIO leak on us from any brand. Yes, we've had problems with a uh, few AIOs in the past, but the problems are never about leaks. So again, kung nag-PC build ka dati, nakalipas na ng ilang taon, and you're just coming back to the hobby, ibang-iba na yung water cooling. You can still do the traditional custom liquid water cooling, but a lot of people these days prefer the all-in-one water cooling of an AIO. Very clear yung advantages niya. The price is good, depending on which AIO you get. So there's really no compromise anymore. If you want to go water cooling, an AIO is a very good option. I T X I T X Yung uso dati, very large cases. This is a modern large case. And mga ganito yung size ng mga over-the-top large cases before. Para nag overcompensate yung mga tao na gusto nila large is better. Pero ngayon, baliktad naman yung trend. Yung uso ngayon, small is better. And you can't get any smaller for mainstream builds than ITX cases. An ITX case is the smallest mainstream case that you can get. You also need to get specialized parts for ITX cases. Sa sobrang liit niya, hindi nakasha yung mga traditional ATX sized motherboards, ATX sized power supplies. When you go ITX, magbabayad ka talaga for the added cost of having these smaller components. Usually sa mga ITX cases, minimum kailangan mo ng ITX motherboard and ITX power supply which is termed SFF, small form factor or SFX. Pareho lang yon. It just depends on which manufacturer you get it from. Kailan mo rin tingnan yung gano'ng kahaba yung GPU mo. Since maliit nga yung ITX case, depending on which GPU you get, baka hindi siya kasha. Physically, hindi mo mapasok yung GPU sa case mo. So you need to check the sizes of everything, including the CPU cooler, the GPU, and you need to worry about cooling. Yung maganda sa large cases, there's a lot of air or there's a lot of volume inside the case for heat to dissipate in. Obviously, in a much smaller case, there's a much smaller volume. So heat will tend to build up a lot faster. You need to find cases that allow you to dissipate or expel that heat quickly. So yun yung dalawang lookouts mo sa ITX builds. Heat and size of the components. But what do you get in return? Sombra ganda tingnan nung ITX. Uh, small is beautiful right now. And yun nga, parang re naging reaction siya to the very large builds of before. Yung mga ITX builds, pwede mo lagay mismo on your desktop. Tunay na siya na desktop computer. Kasi mga desktop natin noon, naalala mo, palagi mo sinisipas. Palagi mo sinisipas. Palagi mo sinisipa on the ground kasi ang laki, hindi mo malagay sa desktop mo. But now with an ITX build, you can put it on your desktop. You can put it in a far-off corner somewhere and it just blends into the furniture. Maraming benefits yung ITX build for aesthetics and portability. We've had some customers na they are based in Manila, pero marami silang business sa province. Dinadala lang nila yung ITX build nila from their place here sa Manila, dun sa kotse, and then yun, dala nila to wherever they need to go. Yung ibang ITX cases may built-in handle na because... Case manufacturers know na yun nga yung habol ng mga tao, it's small and portable. It does add to the cost though, generally if you compare specs-wise yung ITX build versus a traditional ATX size build, mas mahal talaga yung ITX because the smaller components do cost a bit more. Yung mga malilit na bagay na you take for granted sa ATX, nagiging big deal na sa ITX. For example, usually yung ITX motherboards, dalawa lang yung DIMM slots. So if you want 64 gigabytes of RAM, kailangan mo ng 2x32, which is a bit hard to find dito sa atin. Walang problema yun sa ATX size builds kasi usually magpa 4x16 ka, apat naman na DIMM slot sa motherboard. So there are a lot of things that uh, you need to check kung mag ITX build ka. But again, if you're coming from an old school build, kakabalik mo lang sa hobby, an ITX build is a very exciting development. Mainstream na siya. And... Yan yung trend ngayon. A lot of people na nag-traditional build dati, ngayon nag-ITX build na. So, quite interesting. Something you might want to experiment with, especially kung nagbabalak ka magbagong build ngayon.
Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.